All right, so let's see if we can make this work. Today is the 25th, right? So. Review, 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 chapter six, and something fun. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, next week. Let me just make sure I have my dates right. Hey, Let's see, brother. Um. Seven one seven two. This Wednesday and Thursday of next week, I have a district training for the new math curriculum. Joy. And then Friday next week, I have the closing on my house, so I will have a sub. No. On Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week, in which I will post my video of what I wanted you to do that day online. So you could you could come to class and watch the video on your phone, or you could be marked absent and watch the video when the videos when you are able. Okay, just giving you a heads up. Special Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? Of next week. So, so you, I mean, obviously, you know, there'll be a sub here. There are 17 of us math teachers from Cherry Creek High School that have to go to this wonderful training. Yes, I just did throw up in my mouth a little bit saying that. But then on that particular Friday, that's actually a pretty good day. I have to do my final walkthrough of my new home that I bought. And so that's what I got planned. I have no idea who your sub will be. Of course, the school said, yeah, why don't you all take that Wednesday, Thursday, 17 math teachers take that for that training. So you might have the superintendent of the school district of your sub, an assistant superintendent of the school district. You might have the principal of our school. Good to see you. Good to see you. So that's what that's what the big plans are. So this would be doing seven three, seven four, and seven five. Um, chapter seven is our last chapter. Now I did say for zero. Hey, good to see you. How you doing? Wow. So now there was a directive that came that. Every class is to have a final exam of some sort. So my deal is this. I'm going to go back to an Old Testament quiz. Are you following me in this adventure? I am going to give each of you, and I will tell you which chapter it is from, one multiple choice question. You get it right, you get a 90%, you get it wrong, you get an 80%. Tell you the chapter, you have the whole period figured out. Some of you might get lucky and get the question that says two, three, four, five, what's the mean? And you're like, oh, two plus three plus four plus five. And you divide it by four. While others might get something a little more strenuous. But that's what your final will look like. They told us we have to give you a final. You're either going to get an 80% or you're going to get 90% on it. One question. One multiple choice question. Each multiple choice question, everyone gets a different multiple choice question. The finals literally question. One multiple choice question. One of, but yours, your question will not be the same as anyone else's. No one will have the same question. Okay. But you get a use I will tell you, I'll put on there, I'll be like, you know, six in the corner or five or seven or I'll say what chapter it came from. You have the whole period trying to figure out that one question. Get it right, 90% on the final. Get it wrong, 80% on the final. All right. Easy. They, 
They said we have to give a final. It's our choice, our discretion, how we want to give a final. That's how I chose to give a final. I think there could be worse ways. When is that final? Uh, like, sit in like, I don't know, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm kidding. When would it actually be? When your, your guys' last day? The night, yeah, but I won't be here. What? A lot of us won't be here. I just graduated. Oh, wait, are you not taking it? A lot of people will be here. Oh, God. Yesterday, the AP yeah. my last time, so. Good to see you. I'm not taking my class. But a lot, of, a lot of people are. So yeah. a lot of seniors aren't missing. Oh. 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 You guys, your guys' last day is what? May 9th. May 9th. Oh my gosh, I looked at April 9th and I was like, man, that's the next Friday. <laughs> or two weeks from now. All right, so I'd say somewhere May 6th, 7th, or 8th is when your one question final exam will take place. Deal? What's going to be the question? I don't know. Everyone gets one question. Each one question will be slightly hello will be slightly different than the next person's. All right. So with that known, let's do this. So sorry, we will have the test on Thursday this week. I want to do six thirteen today. So I am on page something. Hello. Kenyon sold me yesterday. Page one twenty one. They sold me. Oh, you mean the basketball game? Yeah, that rebound was so bad. I, I could have probably done that while holding a baby better. With and <laughs> I could have rebounded better with my height too. Like that's that's awful. Start up what page we on? Is it 125? Some page. It's 121. Page 121. All right. I just want to run. I'll run through these. If you write these down. This will help you on hey, this will help you on the quiz or the chapter test on Thursday. Okay? I don't plan on having anything outside of class for you guys. So um, it says a true recent Danish study focused on mothers who take fish oil supplements during pregnancy and whether it reduces the risk of asthma in children. Okay. Fish oil, pregnant women take it. Either have, kids have asthma, kids don't have asthma. So our null and our alternative, our null, fish oil has no effect on asthma, and then fish oil has an effect on asthma. Okay, F is for fish oil, A is for asthma, you call them All right, the study was performed with approximately 700 Danish women. Are the assumptions met? Consequences of failing the assumptions. Okay, all right, so problem number two. Did it say anything about a random sample? Read it again. The study was performed with approximately 700 Danish women. Yeah. Random or no? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're all Danish, it, so no, but it's 700 people. 700 people. It's a great sample size, I agree. But, so things that stick out. It does not, it doesn't say random. So, not random. And then the other thing is, if they're trying to publicize it, is just saying, hey, look, we eat in fish oil, um, and decreases our kids' chance of having asthma, but it is, it's only in one area. You know, you're, you're just saying the Danish population. Okay, perhaps the Danish population has a lower risk of asthma regardless. Okay, certain, certain regions of the world that are you know, you can't apply just the Danish to the entire world. So there's a couple things there that are bad. Um, identify type one error in the context of this. Three. What? What? Three. Oh, we lost. So we're not on. 
type one error. Um, finding, finding evidence that fish oil reduces when it doesn't. That's pretty easy. Okay, type one error. We found evidence that fish oil reduces when it really doesn't. Okay, so what's the problem? Well, people are just getting fish oil. Their hair is stronger and healthier because they're bringing oils in. And then type two error. Type two would be not finding evidence when it does. Yeah, no evidence when there is when it works. Stop. Yeah. Not yeah, it was not a random sample, and then you're also just looking at the Danish people. If you're going to apply just the Danish, um, it'd be like, uh, uh, what is it? I'm trying to remember. There's there's a, there's one disease out there. Is it called Tay Sachs disease? And people of Jewish descent, not Jewish of faith, but Jewish descent have a much higher probability of getting Tay-Sachs disease. It's not like those little spots or bumps that would look really scary and gross. No, it's deadly, unless those bumps are gross. But it's something that's tested. Um, but it, it, it's, it's, it's spoken about in my medical class. And yeah, it, I don't want it, 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 it confused. <laughs> It had confused some students because they're like, why would somebody who is Jewish faith have, be eligible or couldn't get a disease? It's like, it's not Jewish faith that is the disease. It's from being Jewish by birth through the lineage. And, and it's, it's called Tay-Sachs, I believe. So don't correct me if I'm wrong. All right. What's the consequence of making a type 1 error? Uh, you're just taking fish oil for the heck of it. Okay, type 1, so number 5, what's the problem of making type 1 error? Um, you just happen to be popping supplements and it doesn't hurt you or anything. Uh, type 2 error, um, type 2 error could be a lot more dangerous in this case because you might have missed the opportunity to reduce uh, children getting asthma. So, type 2 is not always the worst. It's just kind of how you go. And then, let's see. Number 7, assume our study rejects the null hypothesis. What conclusion is appropriate in this context? Okay, i got to switch screens. So number 7, so if we reject the null, just trying to get us back on Reject the null. Oh wait, on number seven. Come on, stir up, figure it out. Oh, sorry. Uh, we found strong evidence fish oil supplements reduce the risk of asthma. So I find strong evidence. Evidence fish oil reduces asthma. Okay. Number eight says if we have an alpha of 0.10 and we reject the null. So this here means we have type one error has a 10% chance of happening. So anytime you see that alpha, type one error is whatever that is. Type two error, 0%. Okay, it's just because the type one, you fail to reject when you add an effect. So type one just deals with that situation. And then number nine says alpha is 0.10, considered to be a little high for this medical study. What advantage or disadvantage of using a higher alpha value? Okay, so the advantage 
of an increased alpha, it's easy or easier to reject the alternative. The disadvantage, advantage, let's see. So you increase the chance of type 1 error. I know I kind of squeezed too much on that. All right. Is there a backside to this? All right, what do you say? We call it done. Tomorrow I'll hit 122. But that's all I have for you for today. So again, just to sum up